Hello everybody, today in front of me I have the iPad Pro 4th generation 11 inch model and in this video we would like to share the top 5 pro tips, features and tricks for this tablet. Alrighty, to start off I would like to show how you can very easily and swiftly connect the Apple Pencil with your um, iPad, if you have the Apple Pencil of course. So at the top part of your tablet, you'll find this little magnetic field or magnetic section. And at the Apple Pencil, you'll find that only one side is flat like this. I'm not sure whether the camera will be uh, focusing correctly, but I guess you'll see it now. And all that you need to do in order to conven conveniently pair, uh, well, the two is to take this little flat side and uh, lay it onto the magnetic field. As you can see the iPad straight away recognizes that the Apple Pencil has been successfully connected. Uh, if that that is your first time to uh, connect the uh, pencil device to this iPad, uh, it will provide you with a very simple instruction, instruction which you can undergo and learn more about using it. And moving on to the second tip that is uh, right away related to the Apple Pencil. So if you, let's say, working on something, browsing, doing some important work, and you have a very interesting small idea that crosses your mind and you do not want to forget it and want to quickly and conveniently write it down, we highly uh, suggest that you use the Quick Note feature that iPad OS provides you with in order to call for it, just uh, whatever you do which app you are in uh, currently does not matter. Simply swipe uh, from the right bottom corner to the center, like so. And as you can see, the quick note uh, window pops up right away in here. Just make sure to write down uh, your idea that you have. So let's say I write something down. Uh, you can also write text easily. It's not uh, uh, you solely for the Apple Pencil, so no worries in this department. You can create a few pages on this quick note, so yeah. If you have something uh, brilliant crossing your mind, just make sure to write it down using the quick note feature, a very cool feature to have, I think. You can also change the different pencils, the different uh, pencil textures, as well as colors. Just like so. Once you are done with the quick note, just tap on the done option, it will be closed and saved into your notes app. Alrighty, moving on to the next feature that we wanted to highlight in today's video. In order to show you uh, this tip, we gotta open the gallery first. So basically, it is the very cool feature that uh, came to life with the new iPadOS 16 update, which and iOS 16 in general, which provides you with an opportunity to cut out or cut objects from images uh, that you have. Should it be a person, uh, any object like camera, pod, or even once we decide to cut the drawing part, we can do that pretty easily. So all that needs to be done is for you to touch and hold at the object and the object will be cut out and copied. Which And you can move it around from here. As long as you do not release your finger from the screen, you can switch to some other app like iMessage and drop it to, well, somebody in a dialog, like so. It goes for pretty much any messaging or chat app, as far as I know. So a very cool feature to have. Already moving on to the next one, which is a multitasking feature. So let's say you would like to simultaneously uh, do your work and enable the, some YouTube video or Netflix show, whatever. All that you need to do for it is to enable any or any of mentioned apps or any of the apps that you would like to simultaneously work in. Let's say I'll go with Chrome first. Then at the top part of your display, you'll find this three little dots. Go for the one of those two uh, multitasking mode, which are either split view or slide over. So let's start with the split view. Then choose the second app that you would like to open in front of it. So I do not have Netflix or YouTube installed, unfortunately. So I'll go with, let's say, weather app, <laughs> let it serve the purpose of YouTube. Now you can change the proportion which each of the app takes and simultaneously do two things. You can also 
uh, enable the slide over or the pop-up view or the how it is also called at uh, let me uh, remember real quick so it is either a slide over a pop-up view or the like this little dialog window whatever which you can move around a bit <laughs> not a lot but still and work with it like so you can hide it and open it whatever you need to check something that is over here serves as a very good uh, helping guide whether you would like to memorize something or whether you would like to check and compare one thing to another. Already, the fifth and final feature for this video is the smallest and quickest one. As you can see currently by looking at the status bar, I cannot uh, understand how much power I have left. Exactly, I can kind of eyeball it, but still. So if I would like to know the exact percentage of the battery health left, I need to open the control center. But if you would like to be able to see the battery percentage at all times without having to necessarily launch the uh, control panel, just go for the settings, then enter the battery category and in here switch on the toggle. Alrighty, so that would be pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.